So this is how you rescue a Galaxy Tab S 10.5 inch Samsung tablet. Um, basically I bought this thing from Amazon and uh, it was from warehouse deals and the, when I got it, the, nothing happened. Like you push the button, nothing turns on. You connect the charger, it's not drawing any current. It um, was not even charging the battery and nothing would come on the, on the screen. So after a bunch of work prying off the there's tons of snaps to get the cover off. You can watch other YouTube videos on how to take off the cover, but anyway, once you get it open, you can pry off this little battery connector here. Um, if you have a multimeter, you can measure between the uh, there's a focus red and black. The two red the two red wires are positive, and they're both in parallel, and the two black wires are in parallel. And if you peel off this little white sticker here you'll notice that the actual battery cells are um, spot welded to this little black circuit board in the middle there. So the upper, these two go to this cell and these two go to this cell, but they're actually directly in parallel from my experimentation. Like at least they, they measure in parallel. So you can charge either one, you, and they actually have the polarity there if you look closely. So the positive is that B1 plus and B1 negative. So you could connect the plus there and negative to the left one, but I've just chosen to use this one over here. So on the on this side the B2 negative is there and the B2 positive and then I'm using some little neodymium magnets to actually stick the wires on because I didn't want to solder to those connections so if you measure and you can get a multimeter and measure this mine was at 2.5 volts and that's below the uh, cutoffs there's a there's a protection circuit probably on the back side of this circuit board that was disconnecting power like there was you couldn't measure measure any voltage on this side it was totally zero and when it was trying to charge there was no voltage there either so it wasn't actually it wasn't even like trickle charging this battery. There was no charging happening. And I don't know if that's a defect in the charging circuit or a defect in the battery protection circuit. That once it goes below 2.5, it won't accept a charging. The, like the tablet will not try to charge it even. I guess it thinks it's totally dead. But the batteries are actually still salvageable. They weren't, 2.5 is like a low limit, but it's not like totally gone. And the battery still has capacity from, uh, so anyway, I, I rigged up this little, you can buy these on uh, eBay for like a dollar or two each. It's a little lithium ion charger and it has a built-in protect uh, circuit. This circuit over here just protects the battery from overcharging or undercharging, but the the main IC should actually stop charging at 4.2 volts. Um, if you look closely here, the R3 resistor actually controls the charging current. Um, the deep, what is it? One, two, two. So that's 1.2k, I think, yeah, because it's reading it upside down here. 1.2k, and that that uh, defaults the thing to one amp, so it actually should be charging at one amp right now. And uh, I just let it get above 3.3 volts. It only took like five minutes to get the battery above 3.3 volts. Then plugged it back in, plugged it in, plugged in the USB to the main connector, and it actually charged up the, the tablet, and it works fine. Um, if you didn't know how to do that, your tablet would have to go back for repair, and uh, you know. They might just throw it out, or they would f fix it or something. Anyway, it might, if it happens to someone else and you're after the warranty period, this could be an easy way to uh, get your tablet back. One thing I will say, too, is that this had the default, the, the first stock firmware back from uh, October of 2014 when they were first made, I, I believe, or one of the first firmwares. So it could have been an issue with that. When I first booted it up, the firmware then um, restarted or it, it ran an update and now it's on the newest uh, five, Android 5.0. Any other things interesting? Oh yeah, when you're taking this thing off, make sure you take your SD cards. I forgot to take it out. And the SD card, micro SD card that's in this little holder here actually sticks out into the back case. So if you forget to take that out first, it'll try to like bend this whole, rip this whole thing off. I think it didn't damage anything luckily because I noticed it right away. But be sure to take your SD card out before you try and pop off the back case. Oh no, is this, it? I'm, I think I'm wrong, that's where it actually goes. Here, let me take this off. Cause... Okay. Be careful when you're dealing with those wires, I, I, was a little, I should have had two hands for that. You don't want to short out anything. Cover that back up, put this tape back on to protect it again. Yeah, I'm wrong. This. I think this is a spot for a potential SIM card in a different model. Where's the focus? There we go. The SD card is actually right here on this one. This whole thing was starting to bend up, but luckily it 
It's still attached there. I hopefully it didn't break. I love this. This USB connector is like the most heavy-duty USB connector known to man. Look at that. Or I guess they have this giant black or, uh, steel bracket that encircles the circuit board. Yeah, it's not actually the connector itself, but this steel bracket. And this is actually a magnesium chassis. The thing's built pretty well inside. So this is actually screwed directly to a magnesium chassis inside here. Um, where's the little, there's the MG logo. That MG signifies that it's magnesium. Okay, well, that's it.